Hi, I'm Jacqueline Stewart, coming to you from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining me here on Silent Sunday Nights. Tonight, we have a double feature of movies starring one of the greatest comics of the silent era, or any era for that matter, Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton began honing his comedy skills when he was just three years old on stage as part of his parents' vaudeville act, The Three Keatons. As a kid performing in the act, Buster learned how to create elaborate, mesmerizing gags that made audiences laugh. He also realized that if he kept a straight face while he was being tossed around on stage, the laughs got bigger. He adopted a deadpan expression and kept it throughout his career, earning the lifelong nickname, the Great Stone Face. Beginning in 1917, Keaton brought his expertise to the big screen. And tonight, we have two of his masterpieces, both feature-length comedies Keaton made during the height of his career in the 1920s. Later on, we'll see the 1924 comedy, The Navigator, starring Keaton opposite Catherine McGuire. But up first is a movie that marked a major milestone in Buster Keaton's career. It was the first film he made under a new contract at MGM. From 1928, The Cameraman. Here, Keaton plays a portrait photographer. When he falls in love with a secretary at a newsreel company, he trades in his still camera for a movie camera with memorable results. For most of his career, Buster Keaton had been used to working independently with complete creative control over his films. Then in 1928, his longtime producer, Joseph Schenck, decided he wasn't going to produce movies anymore. He strongly urged Keaton to sign a new contract with MGM. It was a lucrative deal for Keaton, but it came at a price. Charlie Chaplin tried to warn Keaton that signing with a big studio would mean loss of his creative autonomy. Keaton would eventually learn that Chaplin was right. But his first outing for the studio, which we're about to see, was a success. And Keaton had a good partner in director Edward Sedgwick, who gave him the freedom to create much of the movie's comic business. From 1928, co-starring Marceline Day, here is The Cameraman, followed by The Navigator from 1924. 